What's up guys? Uh, so in this video, what we're going to be talking about is how to set up your enhanced rates algo with trading view. So first things first, what you want to do is essentially take the link that you got from your email, right? You're going to paste it in, you know, just click enter, and then it'll take you to this page, the enhanced trades algo page. And what you want to do is once you come down here, we have all the instructions on how to use the enhanced trades algo, which you can read about. And I'll make another video in explaining exactly how to use it on the charts as well. But what you want to do mainly is come down here and then you see how it says add to favorite scripts. Click on it. Now that you've added that to your favorite scripts, now what you want to do is click on your chart. I named mine algo already, but you can just Click any chart that pops up for you. Make sure you have no other indicators. And before we even add our indicator to our chart, right? What we want to make sure that we do is convert this screen to a black background. That's just my personal preference, and you guys can use that too. I just prefer that you guys use black background because it's less strainful on your eyes. So an easy way to do that is just come up to this little gear icon that says chart properties click that and what you want to do is come down here and second oh, I'm sorry what you have to do first is just right click color theme and go to dark that gives you a, a perfect gray nice setup and next you want to go back to the gear icon and then what you want to do is go to appearance, click on vertical grid lines, take the opacity to all the way to the left to zero, and then do the same thing with the horizontal grid lines, right? Just take it all the way to zero. And then next, you want to make sure the background color is black. I prefer black, it's less strengthful on the eyes, as well as I like the way it looks. <laughs> Once you've done that, you have a nice clean chart setup. You can just click X on your ads. If you have any ads? I had to create a new account. That way, you guys get the best feel for it. And what you want to do is first, you want to go up here and make sure your chart is in Heikenashi. If it, if you guys don't see this up here, what you want to do is click on that little drop down arrow next to the candle. Click on Heikenashi, and you should see a nice clean setup, right? Next, you want to hit this little drop down right next to that FX slash indicators, and you'll find the enhanced trades algo right there. Nice and easy setup. And if you didn't want to do that, what you could do is still just go on the indicators button right there, and then right here under favorites, it'll be right there. Next, what you want to do is first. You click on the gear icon like I did right there. I know I kind of just did that real fast. If you're new to trading view, click on the settings right there. This will open up your settings tab. And what you want to do is, this is my personal preference. This is how I trade. And this is probably what you guys have seen on my YouTube channel or anything else. Is I like to have a solid line. Next, I like to like change the line thickness to 2. Just because the appeal is much better. And we do not change this number because that will mess with the algo and that will mess with the results. Unfortunately, that had to stay there just because of the way it was coded. But that's besides the point right now. And just click OK. And now this algo will start automatically drawing its profit taking levels and stop losses for you. And it's nice and visible. All right. So the setup process is really that simple. And in the next video, what I'm going to do is show you guys exactly how to use the algo, the rules with the algo to get the best performance. Okay. And you want to make sure that you want you save this template that you just did. So come right down to the right over here where you see the little chart and that little cloud with the arrow. Click that, or you can just click Control S on your keyboard, and then that will save your charts. And next time you want to come back and pull up your charts, it'll be right there. You can click load new chart layout. Boom. You can name it algo if you want to. You can put a little favorite. That way it always pops up at the top of the list. 
and you're set. Okay? So watch the next video. It'll tell you exactly how to use the algo, what the rules are for the algo, and how you can get the best performance. Okay? I'll see you guys in the next video.